Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to build a dynamic dashboard in Excel to track key performance indicators. Take a look at the dataset. In the example, we are using a simple structure. First, jump to the dashboard sheet and insert a drop-down list. Select the range that contains months and click OK. Now, link the selected month name to the cell that contains the drop-down list. To calculate the previous month's name, use this formula. Use an XLOOKUP-based formula to get the value for the selected month in the previous period. Finally, use this simple formula to calculate the variance. Copy these formulas down. The next step is to insert a shape and then add a shadow for the shape. Copy and paste this object to build this layout. To add data to the cards, link the description. Then, the actual value. Insert a column type sparkline based on the monthly data to show the performance during the entire period. Then customize the colors. Finally, link the variance and repeat these steps for old cards. OK, it's time to configure the key performance indicators. Insert these shape objects. And here comes the most exciting parts of the tutorial. Select the shape and link the actual value using a new worksheet, Setup. We use a small code to create dynamic colored shapes based on their value. Based on the upper and lower limit, the shape colors will be changed dynamically. Now, link the variance, too. For the sake of simplicity, we use a number format instead of percentages. If the value is greater than zero, the shape color will be blue, otherwise we apply red. OK, let's see how the engine works. Use the drop-down list to change the selected month. The result looks good. Now we have a color-controlled shape based on a cell value. Repeat these steps for AL widgets. OK, it's time to insert a sales map. Previously, we prepared the data, so highlight the range. And insert a map. Right-click on the map, then select the Format Data Series option. We want to display regions with data only. Under the series color group, change the default settings to a three color scale. Finally, add data labels to the map. Use category names instead of values. After that, copy the map to the dashboard worksheet. Customize the map. Add a chart title, or resize it if you want. Now, you can play with the final dashboard. Please leave a comment if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more dashboard content. Thanks for being with us today. For the latest Excel tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.